what's up everybody this is afk allied and this is gonna be my new video on i guess my first thoughts on the pins and dolls patch notes but it's gonna be covering more of the hunter side of things so first first small change is the amuzan Cobb passive got kind of reworked well not reworked it, it got something added onto it so it's actually pretty funny because uh when you load in and you actually press k to check the skills like menu it doesn't even read it like you can't even see the fact that they added on because it's such a long passive, they have to read the whole thing. So at the end of this, it's supposed to say, Targets afflicted for 4 seconds are disarmed for a second. But that's only if you're disarmed for 4 seconds. So let me go over it really quickly. So bees, every 0.5 seconds for 2 seconds, you are taking a minor amount of damage. And you are also being shown on the minimap so everyone can see you. So it's actually really good against stealth characters like Loki and Ao Kuang. But the problem with bees is that it only lasts for two seconds and does minor damage. But, however, it needs to last up to four seconds for the disarm effect to actually go off. But, every auto attack you land can increase the duration up to four seconds. And then after four seconds, you will get the disarm. So basically, you need to apply the passive, auto attack, and the disarm happens for one second. However, realistically, in... A situation where like you're 1v1ing someone or something like that like anything like that where you're just 1v1ing someone etc it's probably not going to happen and honestly it's it's a very small disarm you're gonna be focused on other things instead of focusing on the disarm it's just gonna happen naturally so even like when I auto attack robot here so it's gonna pretty much it's gonna stop auto attacking right now see the disarm just happened and robot stopped for a second but realistically, it's not gonna do. It's not gonna really change much to put Amuz and Cobb like the best AD carry or like that much higher in competitive picks. Maybe in ranked you could play him for like the you know the fucking trolling or whatever. But for the most part, he's still gonna have his flaws, and his flaws are survivability and early game. And in such an early game based meta, it's really hard for Amuz and Cobb to thrive as a dominant AD carry pick. He has so many counter matchups and just lane compositions in general can crush him and that's without jungler help. So will this make him more viable? Yes, but it's like he's still going to be a B tier character. You have to really consider the enemy composition before picking him and you have to know the right situation when to pick him or else you're just going to go 0 and 8. Like, I mean, it, it happens. Even I go 0 and 8. So, that, I mean, that's pretty much it for the Amuzi Cobb uh, buff. And then they went over um, the fact that... what? Oh, no, actually, that is actually it. So, yeah, that was just a quick little go-through of the Amuzi Cobb passive usage. And also, they reworked Hu Yi's 3. So, I'll go over that just real quickly, jungle practice. So, Hu Yi's 3, before, you would jump straight up into the air and just dive bomb on someone. It was very clunky. It got interrupted by a lot of things it was kind of unreliable but i actually love his new three and there's a lot of setups that i could potentially see myself using and this in my opinion bumps him up in the tier list because the thing about who Yi's three is that when you uh, i'll read over the skills really quick his mark of the golden crow or as i like to call it hunter's mark it's it's hunter's mark hunter's mark from fucking world of warcraft it's it, that's it's just what it is it's just hunter's mark so when you hunter's mark someone and then you use your dive bomb which is your three you dive into the air and then when you land the targets are knocked back however here's here's the fun part right i'll go over to robot and i'll show you guys a quick look at what i'm talking about before the dive bomb was actually so slow and clunky it was very predictable for use but now it has literally instant landing so if i just do this you can instantly land and knock someone back and use that to initiate for your setup if not any sort of kill potential so right off the bat just because of his dive bomb kind of landing and kind of setup potential is just through the roof like that this rework literally changed the state of how you play Hu Yi. Hu Yi is going to be a, a new man. Like he, I, I'll put on some CDR reduction so you guys can take a look at what I'm talking about here. But he, the setup potential is just ridiculous. You can do so many things with this. You can, if for example, the enemy AD carry wastes his jump or wastes his dash, you can dive bomb in, 
ult and get guaranteed like a knockback to stun to ult. Like it's just it's just crazy. Like everything comes out instantly. He feels fluid. He feels good, and he does a lot of fucking damage, especially early on in the game where Hu Yi is more of an early game focused hunter, and he excels later on in the team fight. So I don't think Hyra is meant for this, but the new the new changes are going to be like for Hu Yi especially that they are going to be nuts, considering he also is ability based, and they nerfed a lot of the attack speed items except Aussie. So. Here's also what I wanted to go over really quick with the fact that they nerfed all the attack speed items. So pretty much high res went across the board and was like, hey, hunters just attack way too fucking quick. And that's fine. Like, whatever, right? Like, I, I, I think that was fair to nerf it all. But they forgot to nerf Aussie. And Aussie, as it stands right now, it gives 15 uh, physical lifesteal, 15%, 20% attack speed, 15 physical penetration. And if you drop below 35% HP, you gain an additional 25% physical lifesteal for 5 seconds. That This item is the most cost-effective, cheap attack speed lifesteal item and early p physical penetration item that scales amazingly into the late game it's it's probably one of the best items for hunters it's it's hands down the fact that it wasn't touched i i just it blows my fucking mind they nerfed ikavol which hasn't even been used in the recent hunter builds that have been proven like broken that hasn't been touched i mean it's been touched over aussie like it, it like i understand they actually did not change the uh the thing it's supposed to be 20 percent attack speed not 30 percent but yeah like they nerfed ikavol and but aussie is still the same so i just blows my fucking minds but with these new items you are gonna see a shit ton of just ability based hunters kind of come back and the slower hunters like shibalanke for example uh like indirectly because of these nerfs especially the bluestone nerf uler got nerfed to the ground so you're not gonna see any uler um, just because of the bluestone pendant. I mean, you might you might see some. He's definitely still strong, but there's gonna be stronger um, hunters. He, I I think he's like in between. Art got nerfed. I mean, she was already barely played to begin with, but Art is Dunsky. Amuzin Cobb got nerfed. Shibalanke got hit hard with this patch, and it was kind of aimed towards Shibalanke the most, just to make sure that he struggles even harder early game to make sure he cannot carry a fucking game. But with this patch, they actually buffed Apollo and Neath some more with the heart, like with the heart seeker change. I mean, it's a hundred gold more, but realistically, it's just you have to wait an extra wave to get your heart seeker done. Like boo hoo. And I went over in the previous video that you're still gonna have heart seeker done at a pretty good timing, especially by purple buff time. So I don't know. Neath is. N looking a lot better now but with Neath looking better so does Hu Yi I think there's a lot of untapped potential especially with the dive, bo dive bomb jump you're gonna see a lot more playmaking and I, f I for sure I'm gonna play a lot more Hu Yi like that that is a hundred percent for sure he looks fun he looks good he feels good and I I cannot wait so with the Hu Yi changes I think I'll just do a quick just wrap it all up pretty much ASI Still needs a nerf. I think it's still too good of an item. The fact is too much bullshit potential out of this item. I, I mean, I do like the fact that they nerfed Ikavol, but Aussie needs to get nerfed as well on top of it. Bluestone Pendant is still going to be needed on certain hunters. Um, it's still going to be needed, but it's definitely... it's it, That nerf is going to hurt. I mean, 1.5% of missing mana is not that much it's they literally cut it in half and reduced the physical power death's toll is going to start looking a lot more appealing especially for early game based hunters that are like all in like who ye might you might see some death's toll who ye you never know it, it could be potentially a thing um what else oh yeah devo gloves devo gloves so they haven't really been touched but devo gloves are looking a little bit more enticing i mean the fact that it's so close to gold with Heartseeker now, it, you might see more and more players go for the Diva Glove start. It's a more reliable start to go to. I mean, it's a fairly cheap item. It stacks up pretty well. It's a little bit less physical power, but the lifesteal that you get with it is definitely worth taking a look at. So a lot more hunters like Rama are looking a lot better now, where, you know, the standard is to just go Diva Glove start. So Diva Glove's looking a lot better now. And yeah, Hu Yi, I think Hu Yi's going up 
a couple of ticks in the tier list for me. I mean, I'll definitely know for sure once I try them out more on stream. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitch to know when I am streaming. But yeah, I, I think that is going to be it. So that is pretty much it. This is my first impressions video. Um, hopefully you guys liked what I had to bring to the table. And yeah, I will be on probably Twitch if you want to catch me for some games. And I'll probably make a video ASAP. Um, again with kind of like the aftermath of like all of these patch note bullshit but that's my hunter side first impression thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day